Tell us who you are. I'm Larry Tans. And your company is? Uh, I'm CEO of Live Planet. We're a, a production company that specializes in film, television, online, and wireless production. Uh, what uh, genres do you produce? Uh, we produce um, scripted and unscripted programming, um, everything from uh, action to drama to um, short form content. Would we, would we have seen your work already? Yeah, we produced uh, Project Green Light, which ran for several seasons on HBO and Bravo. Uh, we recently released uh, with Universal a movie called First Descent, which is a, a big documentary about snowboarding. Um, we are shooting a documentary in Africa over the next few months called Running the Sahara. Okay, we, we just uh, heard uh, Jordan Levin from Generate talk about trends in uh, media. Uh, uh, give us a little summary of what he said and how what you're doing fits into the paradigm that uh, he outlined here today at USC. Um, I think you know some of the stuff that he said that I found interesting was trying to capture this talent market, um, which is the the, the fixed. Uh, asset of talent that's that has the potential to create for the for multiple platforms. He, 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 he was saying that the the uh, sort of a critical element now in the production and distribution uh, system is going to be a, uh, a limited amount of talent being bid for by a uh, uh, infinitely expanding set of uh, distribution uh, channels. Is that exactly production costs are going down, distribution costs are going down, talent is somewhat fixed, so it provides opportunities for talent to get material out there. The economics might not be as great as the top most echelon of television or the film industry, but there's a lot more creative control. Uh, he, he was also talking about the uh, the distinction between uh, uh, the, uh, the distribution being available to, to everyone and, and only a few. Right. Uh, what's the impact of that on the on the content? And, and I think it, it's the idea is content that's more in the hands of the creators and less in the hands of studio executives giving you know, copious notes. Um, with uh, with with the distribution opportunities growing, you know, almost boundless. You, as a content creator or as a producer of content, have the ability to get it out there in its sort of most pure form, as opposed to the mo you know trying to be everything to everybody. Speaking of everybody, there, there was a focus here on on the younger consumer, the tech savvy consumer. Is, is that uh, intrinsic, or are there ways in which the technology might become uh, easier to use so that uh, uh, older people uh, might uh, take advantage of, of all of this uh, uh, diversity or or are they doomed to uh, being uh, 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 trailing adopters and and getting just sort of the, the, the crumbs of this uh, expanding media universe I, I don't think they'll get the tr the crumbs I think there will be trailing adopters I think the the younger audience the younger consumer will drive adoption and then as things get a little bit easier to use and and you know less buggy and and more reliable, I think the older consumers will come in and, and be able to consume it. In, know, in, in, your, well. in your work, however old you are, how do you stay in touch with what the people who are always going to be younger than you are, uh, are interested in? It's hard. I talk to friends who are younger. Um, I, I go online and check out, you know, things like MySpace or, you know, new sites that are up there. I spend a, a bit of time on YouTube to see not, just, not so much what the videos are, but the types of things that people are doing and how they're changing, uh, and I read I read Wired. I think that's pretty good. If if if, if younger and younger people are, are able to control both the distribution and the uh, production, uh, is there a point at which they're going to say uh, we don't need older people for anything, and there'll be a constant cannibalization down that uh, younger and younger people will be generating and, and controlling this media? Uh, it's possible. I don't think it will be that extreme, but I do think. I mean, he in his Jordan references in his speech today. I mean, you've got you know a 45 year old comedy writer who might just be a little bit out of date who's able to keep a career writing for sitcom in Hollywood but in this new model it might be harder for them to speak in a relevant way to this young audience but you know what at the end of the day I think the talent is what's going to matter and if you're a less technically savvy creator you just have to partner up with producers who know what, know what they're doing but you know Steven Spielberg uh, you know, gets better as he gets older. Right. Uh, tell us uh, the name of your company again. And, uh, Live Planet. And people who want to get more information about it? Uh, www.liveplanet.com. Thanks very much. All right, you're welcome.